who are the invisible people of the AI empire that we're not seeing right now? So in my book, I go to Kenya, I go to Chile, I go to Uruguay, to Colombia. And in Kenya, for example, Kenya and Colombia, I was talking with workers that are contracted by these companies, these AI companies, to do some of the worst work in the AI supply chain. So Kenyan workers, OpenAI went there. They were at a moment in their history as a company where they realized, wait a minute, we need to start commercializing. And if we start putting models that can spew anything in the hands of users, it's not going to be a huge commercial success if it starts spewing a lot of hate speech. So we need to put a content moderation filter right. around it. Right. And content moderators are like human beings that literally have to look at things as awful as child pornography to snuff, like really bad stuff. Yes, exactly. So that it doesn't end up in your feed while you're texting and traffic. And Kenya is that sacrifice zone where it is long served as a backstop for the internet of the global north. And so OpenAI shows up, they contract these workers, and they ask, hey, label all of these worst, like text from the worst parts of the internet and AI generated text where we prompted an AI model to imagine the worst text on the internet. Read that day in and day out, label it into a detailed taxonomy where you have to say, is this sexual content? 